business meeting for the Riverside City Council for Thursday, August 16th, 2012 to order. And I ask Council Member Schock to please lead us in the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Mr. Schock. And welcome, everyone. Welcome to our meeting this evening. And uh, we will go ahead and get started then with uh, approval of the minutes of the last meeting for August 2nd, 2012. Is there a motion? So moved. Is there moved by Deputy Mayor Denny? Is there a second? Second by uh, Council Member Follenkamp. Is there any discussion on the motion? Seeing none, all in favor, signify by saying aye. I oppose, same sign. I abstain. Uh, please uh, have the record show that uh, um, Mr. Schock has abstained. Okay, next thing on the agenda, acceptance of written petitions for uh, citizens. So if anyone wants to have a discussion and talk before council, please uh, fill out a form in the back and hand it up either side here of the dices, and we will get to that uh, when we get to the meeting. So uh, next thing is uh, communications. It's, um, the request from Ms. Howe for a local citizens group. And um, we saw, we've seen the letter in our packets. Is there any discussion on, uh, on this letter? Do we have a date when she sent this? Was this before or after she visited our meeting? Um, I believe that that was the letter she presented at the meeting. Is that correct? She made it to me after the meeting that night. <clears throat> okay, so, so she, did, she, didn't, she didn't have the information that we gave her about how So she had already she before, before, she got, before she got the information. Okay. But she has it now. But she has the information now. Yes. Okay. What information does she have? She knows how you have handled it in the past. So yeah, let's just wait till she uh, wants to call a meeting and then we uh either we or disagree with this time. Yeah. That would work. And why wouldn't that work, Mr. seven sign uh, approvals or uh, sign issues that were dealt with because three of them got approved. They weren't coming down with the approved. And of those, uh, there were seven that I looked at. Five had a letter, <coughs> two didn't have a letter. Uh, five of them indicated specific locations where they wanted to put their signs, two did not. Neither uh, entities that requested signs. Three indicated a specific start date that they wanted to put the sign. Four did not. And four indicated a specific ending date when they would take their signs down. And three did not. So I'm not sure we have a process. And I don't think we should penalize these folks because they, they've done what they think the council is expecting them to do. Okay. Uh, Mr. Polenkamp, so, so what is Mrs. Powell? Sometimes she comes in late. Like, I don't know if she works or. Yeah. But 
Been a motion made. There's a second, a second by um, Ms. Campbell. Is there any other discussion on the motion? I'd like a roll call vote, please. Thank you, Mr. Kirk. Yes. Ms. Campbell? Yes. Mr. Green? Yes. Mr. Bullenkamp?
talk about that at that work session that the yeah, city, city manager discussed. Well, I'm not interested in putting a moratorium on first. Because I, the planning commission is going to be dealing with this very shortly, and we're it'll be in front of us. Then it'll be in front of us again. Right. And um, we can go from there. Okay. Okay. All right. Next thing is city manager's report. Mr. Manager. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. You have my report included in your packet as well as supplementals from department heads. I'm more than happy to answer any questions you may have. As always, you can expect my weekly manager's report tomorrow via email. Okay, thank you, Mr. Manager. Is there any uh, questions or comments to the manager? When is the light actually going to move on your way? Are we waiting until next year for that, too? No, they, uh, <laughs> They, uh, they uh, were finishing setting the poles uh, this week, so they were actually out working on those. They've got span wires up now. Um, the big delay has been powering that system, which is the GPML. So uh, those issues all seem to be resolved, and my understanding is they'll be moving those lights. Uh, we were hoping to have it done this week, but I would say first of next week. And I'll block that uh, intersection going into the shopping center at the old light. No, that, that intersection will remain open. That will be uh, right be out. Open. And will that be controlled by a traffic light or not? No, sir. So that will be taken down. That is correct, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mr. Mayor, do yeah, we need action on, the, on David Brown's um, letter? Accepting his resignation? Right. Uh, Marianne? To accept it, I think Yes. Okay. So we don't need to do legislation. No, we just need it. You know, it's accepting his letter of resignation. So we do that through a vote. Then you make a motion, sir. Yeah, I'll make a motion. Okay. It's been moved by Mr. Shock, second by Betsy Mayor Denny, to accept Mr. Brown's resignation. With regrets. Is there any discussion on the motion? Hearing none, all in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion's carried. Mr. Fullenkamp. Uh, waste collection RFP. Yes, sir. Um, what final form did these three levels of business take at some point? Can I see something in the, how these things were stated? What options did the vendors have in terms of bidding? We had a short conversation about some flexibility and allow the vendors to provide options. Yeah. I'll, I'll talk with Ms. Christian and see what we can do to extrapolate that information. Okay. Okay. Right. Thank you. Sure. This would be the same information that going out in the bin package yes, for the trash? Yes, sir. Yeah. I'd like to see that as well. We can copy it to all the council when it's, uh, when it's available. Okay, okay. great. Okay. I have one. Yes. Hey, do we have anything on the bike path? I've had these multiple people come to me and ask about the path. It's in progress right now. Uh, I've got a call into Joe Zimmerman, who's the project manager over at Five Rivers. I haven't got a call back yet, uh, but uh, he's typically pretty good about that. So I'm hoping he'll call me back before my manager's report goes out tomorrow. Okay, thank you. So. And what's the issue with the bike path? I just, it, it, I would expect to see something happening, happening and because it's supposed to be done oh, in the spring, and I mean, I've got, I work on base, and I've got people hitting me off. What's going on with that? Yeah. I tell them, I send them the Five Rivers Metro's website and say, look there. Yeah. Based on my last conversation with Joe, uh, they'll have all the asphalt laid uh, prior to the closing of the plants in November, and then they'll come back and finish restoration if they can yet this winter. If, you know, we get some freeze thaw, in fact, they'll finish restoration in the spring. As a, as a question, um, are they going to, uh, it's going to go up right behind the, uh, a hotel. Yes. Are they going to take out a lot of the honeysuckle, I hope? Uh, that I don't know. I know that they do have to do some bank stabilization work over there. Mm -hmm. um, how much? So they'll have to take some out for that, but how much they plan to remove or touch beyond that, I don't know, but I can ask Joe okay. when I'm talking. Are they going to leave the cement there, isn't there? My understanding is, well, the asphalt that runs parallel to that asphalt path that runs parallel to Harshman there, that will all come out and be replaced. I don't recall what they're doing with the sidewalk. Uh, but, uh, Mr. Miller, do you recall if that sidewalk standard if that's going? Um, no, I don't. Okay. All right. Any
Any other questions or discussion for the city manager? Uh, there's no one to ask to have any public comment on agenda items or non-agenda items at this point, so we'll move on to unfinished business. Uh, resolution number 12R1693, Mr. Manager. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. This resolution is to certify assessments to the county auditor related for waste collection, residential waste collection fees for next year. So moved. Second. Been moved by Mr. Schock, second by Deputy Mayor Denning. Make a motion to take this off the table. Uh, motion is made by Deputy Mayor Denning. I'll second it. Second by Mr. Shaw. This table must be. Oh! This table does not be. Sorry. So, uh, have we done this correctly, Madam Clerk? You have to remove it from the table. Yes. Okay, so we removed it. Yes, this table. table. And we've already made the motion to move. So, so, we just need one vote or two? You'll need two, sir. One to remove it from the table okay. and then one to that, yeah. Okay, so the first one is to remove it from the table. Yes. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion's carried. Okay, is there any other discussion on the second motion of um, putting it on the... No, no, accepting. I, I move that we uh, accept resolution uh, 12R1693. Uh, uh, okay, is there any other discussion on that? No. Mr. Kirk. I know at the last meeting we talked about uh, the previous recommended amount of 182 and we got it down to 175. I'm still not comfortable with what we're doing here for, for the sole reason that I think it's still too much money from the standpoint that we have an existing contract that has an option year on it. Matter of fact, it has two option years on it, I believe. But it's for eleven fifty a month. Uh, plus a five percent uplift for the county auditor, which gets us to the one forty four that we have right now. Uh, we have an option for the upcoming year exercise, uh, which only raises the amount by 25 cents a month, that's three dollars a year, which would take it up to 147, and I can't vote to take an additional $20 out of people's pockets when we can get the service for $20 less for them. I just don't think it's what they set me here to do. Is there a second on my vote? Yep. Okay, there, I thought our options, do we still have two, op two year options on the contract? This isn't a final number. We're just projecting <coughs> what's going to cost our residents once we uh, secure another trash collector, and those uh, numbers will be reflected uh, next year. That is correct. Yeah. That so if there's a, um, a discount or an overage for the trash, uh, that will be reflected on the bill for next year. That is correct. So it's not like we're charging them. It is possible that this assessment would be calculated at a greater rate than the actual cost. But any amount that is paid by them in excess will be credited to them next year, the following the service year. Right. So. If they still live here. Right. They still own the property. Within 
دیگه هم چند بالانس هم بودی در این calculated a 2% reserve for 
was the date again? So, October the 4th. Is when bids would be due. <coughs> so, if we bid and the bids don't come in to our satisfaction, as long as the option, can we fall back on the option? You would have the ability to do that. Yes. As I understand the contract to read and as I understand the request for proposal provisions of the code to read. I think the uh, cash contract if we're going to exercise the option, we're after getting 120 days notice uh, before the end of this year. So in other words, by the end of this month, we'll have to exercise the Okay. What kind of money are we looking at for these bids? What's getting that package? Most of it's been done in-house. So it's very minimal cost. I think we need to go forward with the bids. work with the city of Dayton in the event that we had to exercise our option? Well, you know that if we pass, if we don't pass this, then we have to go back, we have to ask for another, um, le more legislation to come forward for the new number that Mr. Kirk is suggesting. Mm -hmm. And by that time, we have lost our 120 days or whatever, because we have to let them know by the end of this month, he said. Whether we want to exercise the option or not. We'd have to give the auditor a number by the 2nd of September. Yes. The county auditor has to have a number by the 2nd of September. Why don't we just change this number? Take out the 175 and change it to 148. Well, then we're going to be forced to do the option, which is okay by me. We'll be forced to do the option. Right. We won't, then we might as well not put out the bid. No, because we, if, if it comes back, unless the bids come back less than what our option is, then, you know. What if, what if the assessment value was equal to the option cost provided by Dayton? Assuming the council is dissatisfied with the services that are provided, the city can <coughs> advance the difference from the general fund to the special assessment fund. And then once... And then next year we charge extra. And then, yes, you would make up the difference on the following year assessment, or you could spread it out over a two-year period, or whatever the provision is for the contract to repay the advancement from the special assessment fund, thereby making the general fund whole, thereby providing new and hopefully improved service, but doing so in a way that is not substantially more burdensome to the residential property. Ooh, I like that option. I like that option. I like that option. Good one. Does that address your concerns, Mr. Kirk? Well, I don't care what number we use, just so we don't use a big number. <laughs> well, I, I, would, I, I, would, I would like to get somewhere in between like 160 or something well, like that. Yeah. Now we can do the option. The council can take the action tonight. It just needs to come up with a number uh, because the only risk associated with whatever the council uh, does is who carries the burden of the difference between whatever we do tonight and right. whatever the bid amount will be. Right. If, if, is the city going to carry the burden or do we shift the burden to the property owner? Uh, for, for either way, the property owner pays the tax. Okay. Yeah. So well, what's the, okay? What's the recommendation? Who, who second? Who, who made the motion? I made the motion. Okay. I don't know who second. I second. Okay. Oh, he did. I did. So what?